Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create a simple Python script to detect the eyes and faces on a live video feed. I'll utilize my own laptop webcam to take up the video. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to press this like, share and subscribe buttons because I used to come up on new videos of machine learning, deep learning, data science every single week. So without waiting, let's start. So guys, we are on our Jupyter notebook now. You will need only two libraries to do all this task. So I'm going to import CV2 and NumPy. That's all. First of all, let's check the live feed from the camera. So that you can take by simple command cv2.video capture. And here you have to give zero or one or two so if you are utilizing the camera installed within your laptop you can write zero if you have multiple cameras you can check out with one or two so basically it tells like on which index your camera is installed or how many cameras are there so if you have only one camera installed in your laptop you can utilize video capture zero so this is a live feed so you have to put a while loop to process every frame. So you can write while true. So it will always go to this while loop until and unless the value you are getting is true. So after that you can write this cap dot read. So that is the image. Now if you want to show this image in within this loop and inside a window, you have to put I am show method of CV2. So let's type that cv2 dot I am show. And here you need to provide the window name. So I'm going to write image and then you need to provide the image. If you want to close the live feed, you have to come out from the loop. So you have to give a if condition so that whenever this if condition gets true, it will come out from this while loop. So we'll say cv2 dot wait key order is equal to q so this wait key tracks the keyboard inputs so whenever you will press q key from your keyboard this wait key condition will be true and it will come inside the loop so here we want to break this while loop so whenever you will press q from your laptop you will be able to close this window so once you come out from this loop you want it to release your camera because once you apply this video capture command, it engages your camera and at the end of the loop, you want it to release your camera. So you can write cv2.release then destroy all windows. So let's run this and check if you are getting the live feed from our camera. And here you can see we are getting a live feed from the camera and it is working pretty fine. You can see my video. And this is the window we have created. Once you press the Q key, you will be able to close this window. So this is working pretty fine. Now we need to process this image frame, which is coming out from the video every single time. Our complete code will be written over here. So guys, before starting to detect eyes and faces, so we need to download some XML files from the github so i have given the link for these files in the description you can just go to those links and download these files so this is hard cascade filters so there are two ways to download all these filters at once uh, you can either go to the open cv and download the complete code and check out the folder named as hard cascades and you will get all these files over there so inside the OpenCV folder, you need to go to data and then the hard cascades. And the other way is to open these files one by one, copy the complete XML code on the notepad, save all those files inside a hard cascade folder. I like the second method going directly to the complete OpenCV repo and downloading all the code at once, then checking out the hard cascade folder. So once you will download the complete GIF file, you extract that and you will get this folder open CV, open this one, then go to the data. Then here you will get this hard cascades. Just copy this complete folder into your main working directory 
and you will have all these models or these XML files which will be utilized to detect eyes, faces, upper body, full body, smiles and all. So you can do lot of things with these files. I will show you how to use those files within this script. So first of all we will detect the face out of the image. So we will write face casket. So here you have a direct command from CV2 that is CV2 casket classifier and here you need to provide the path for the face file. So if you go to the directory in the hard casket you will have this hard casket front face default copy the path and then paste the path over here. So this will load the face casket for you. Now you can utilize this casket to detect your face. First of all you need to convert this image to a grayscale image. So we have a simple command cv2.convertColor. Here you need to give the image and you want to convert cv2 bgr to gray. So this will convert your RGB image to a grayscale image. Now we can apply this face casket on top of this grayscale image. You have to write face casket dot detect multi scale and here you need to provide the image so this method takes the image the scale factor and the minimum number of neighbors we have taken 2.3 as in scale factor and 4 as in minimum number of neighbors you can try with multiple values of these uh, hyperparameters and check out where you are finding the best classifier now we will filter for the face so we will write faces so this detect multi scale returns you a bounding box on top of your face so it will return you the dimension of that bounding box means x y coordinates and width and height of that bounding box so you can write for x y width comma height in faces then cv2 can create a rectangle there is a simple method cv2.rectangle and inside this rectangle you need to give the image then your xy coordinates so these are the starting coordinate of the rectangle then x plus width because it is x axis then y plus height so these are the ending coordinates and here you need to provide the color of bounding box for face we want green color and we know colors are represented in RGB so this tuple over here the first value will, will be for R the second value will be for green so we will give 255 and the third value will be for blue so we will keep 0 now if you want to put some text on top of your image you can write cv2 dot put text so the first argument will be the image then the text you want to keep so I want to keep faces or face then you need to provide the font for these text so CV2 have multiple fonts so I am taking this Hasle complex font for the text to be shown then you need to give the size that is 0 0.5 we are giving a small size then you can need to give the width and then the color for the text so we are going to give white color so we will keep 250 comma 250 comma 250 so these are RGB values for the text color after that you have to give the font size so we are going to keep 1 and here you have to give the X and Y coordinate so we want to keep this text on the starting values of the pixels that is X comma Y this is all let's run this so here you can see it is detecting up my face and it is also writing up the face on top of the bounding box and this is working pretty fine. Now let's test out the eye classifier. So we'll close this. For the eye classifier we'll just copy this code and put it over here. And if you go back to the folder you will have this first file as in harcascade.i. We'll copy the path and put it over here we'll write i cascade we'll copy this path 
and put it inside this cv.casket classifier. That's all. It will load up the high casket. Now instead of this faces, we will write eyes. And this face casket, we'll write eye casket. Everything is same. So these x values we have already used. So we will change it to x1, y1, w1, h1. And instead of faces, we will write eyes. And here also we will change this to eyes. And here x, x1, y1, x1 plus w1, y1 plus h1. And here we will write x1 and y1. So this is all guides. Let's run this. And if you remove the glasses, you will see that it is detecting up the eyes also. So you can change the values of these parameters and you can make the detectors little bit beautiful. I have changed it and got this type of detector as you can see. So once we run the script, as you can see right now, you can see myself and it is detecting my faces and eyes pretty beautifully. You can change some of the argument within the script to make it even more better based on the camera quality of your webcam. So I'll meet you in my next lecture. If you are a starter in deep learning, you can check out my course on Udemy. I have given link in the description. Make sure if you are going to enroll, you are following the same link because I will get to know that you are coming from my YouTube channel. So bye bye guys. I'll meet you in my next video. Till then, take care.